everyone welcome back I just saw Stephanie Marie put out a video just today about five underrated makeup products and I thought that was a great idea because it gives me an opportunity to talk about products that I love but sometimes just forget to mention like sometimes they don't make it into favorites because I've enjoyed them for so long so for that reason, I'm going to talk about five underrated makeup products that I think you should try out. The first two products are lipsticks and they are by Clinique and I feel like the makeup world on YouTube pretty much ignores Clinique in general because they're not that exciting of a brand. Like I feel like they're not putting out super hype worthy products because most people consider them like an older person brand. Anyway, these really excited me uh, when they first launched years ago. They are the Clinique Pop Glaze Sheer Lip Color and Primer. I don't know why primer is part of the title of these because they're definitely not lip primers. They're basically a sheer lipstick and they have no scent, which is nice. Most of, actually I think all of Clinique's products have no scent. And these are really lovely to wear if you want something just super easy to put on your lips. Now I realize that this color is fairly intimidating. It is called Licorice Pop, but it goes on very sheer. So you don't have to be wearing like a dark vampy lip when you're wearing this one. And what I like about these ones is that they're so sheer that you can wear them with a lot of different eye looks and not be worried about your lipstick clashing too much with your eye look. Because I wear a lot of bright colorful eye makeup and sometimes I don't know what to put on my lips aside from a nude color. And I don't really love wearing nude lips. I feel like it's too concealer lips on me and maybe it's just because I haven't found the right nude. But overall, I wanna put some kind of color on my lips even when I've got a bright eyeshadow look on. And these work out very well for this. Now, uh, Licorice Pop is one I've worn a ton. Uh, Melon Drop Pop is probably my favorite. It's kind of an orange coral and it goes with so many like sunset eye looks. Actually, I've got one on today. I could have worn this with it. I really enjoy this one. I wear it a lot during the summertime. And the other one I've got here is called Sprinkle Pop. And this is just a little bit more of a more magenta color. I haven't used this one as much, but it's a little bit brighter actually than Licorice Pop such a beautiful color so yeah I really enjoy these I haven't heard anybody talking about them in years and I think they've discontinued some of the colors that they have but they are still available as far as I'm aware and they are hydrating they're comfortable to wear they feel like a chapstick basically they're just a really pleasurable lipstick to wear now the next items are eyeliners and I'm telling you about them now because they're starting to be discontinued which is really disheartening for me because I wear these all the time they are the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Pencil Eyeliners. They have them in your basic boring shades, black, brown, probably navy blue, and I have a navy here. But what I really enjoy about these ones is that they come in a huge variety of colors and I wear them all the time on my waterline. I just pick whichever color happens to go with my eye look. Today I'm wearing the purple one, which I'm not holding because it's in the other room, but that went really well with my lower lash line color. I'll wear the yellow if I've got something a little bit more orange tone on the eye, probably would have worked with this eye look too. I love the green, it's kind of a pale minty green and this like sea blue is also beautiful, but they're being discontinued. So I know a few of them are still available. I think most of the colors are still available in the USA, potentially not in Canada, Although you can, if you're in Toronto, go to their Pro Loft, which is um, on Young Street and I think Charles, and pick them up. Um, but they're not going to be around forever. These stay so well on my waterline. So well. I can put them on in the morning before work and then I'll have a little bit of edge wear at the outer corner of my eye by the time I leave work in the evening. And that's really impressive because I don't feel like a lot of um, eyeliners last on my waterline. So I've really enjoyed these and I'm absolutely heartbroken that they're being discontinued. The next item that I have to talk about, I don't actually have the packaging anymore, um, but I am wearing them. They are Tarte's Fake Lashes. They are vegan and cruelty free, so they're completely synthetic lashes and they are excellent and nobody talks about them. I don't know why, because they're wonderful products. I have gone through two different lashes already. Flirt was one of them, and I think I'm wearing Girl Boss right now, but there was another one I loved as well. They are fantastic lashes. I can get so many uses out of them that they rival like my more expensive lashes. Like I really like Esquito lashes as well, but those are super expensive and the Tarte ones are a fraction of the price and last 
potentially longer than the Esquito ones. I've worn these Girl Boss lashes for I think two years now, which maybe is a little bit gross, but I do clean them out with alcohol every now and then. Um, and that's easily over 25 uses. It, it's probably closer to like 30 or 35. Hi Nemo. He's been very needy lately, which I love because it makes him really cuddly. So I can't recommend Tarte lashes enough. And honestly, I never hear anybody talking about them, which is disappointing. I have put off buying new lashes by them just because I've got so many lashes in my collection right now that it feels kind of wasteful to go pick up more by Tarte. But every time I go put on fake lashes, I'm wishing that I was grabbing for a pair of Tarte ones recently. So I might pick some up during the Sephora sale, the one that happens in like, is it March or April? Because they're wonderful, wonderful eyelashes. Nemo! Hello, mister. You gonna sit here? How are the people supposed to see you if you're facing me? Hello. Okay, next up is a highlighter that I've only just recently discovered because my friend Samantha gave me a whole bunch of duplicates that she had. They are the Cover FX Glitter Drops, and I think these have terrible reviews, which is really bizarre because I really like them. I think I read a few reviews where people were complaining that there was too much glitter in them, <laughs> but I don't know what to do but laugh at that because these are called glitter drops. What did you think was gonna happen with them? So these are uh, a dropper style liquid highlighter. So um, it can be a little bit messy, I guess, but I just take the applicator and dot it on my cheekbone and then honestly I tap it out with my finger which is a little bit unusual I prefer using brushes but the overall effect on these is ethereal it's like you're all fairy and you just got covered in pixie dust I love that look so much and I'm disappointed that people don't like them but I mean you would have no reason to buy these unless you liked glitter so this one is the blue one it's called lunar I think I the sticker's gone from the bottom so I'm trying to remember what it's actually called and this one's looking quite blue in the bottle but it does come across quite sheerly on the cheeks which is nice because a blue highlighter can be a little bit difficult to wear I find that one of the harder colors um, but the other shades that I have um, which is the entire collection really there's only three colors which is disappointing because I want even more so the pinky one is called Aurora I think this one's my favorite which is strange because I don't tend to love pink but the color in here is pink and gold and there's a little bit of silver and purple it's absolutely magical and then the gold which is probably what most people will gravitate towards is kind of a yellow white gold and it's called Mirage I love these all so much I think that they're such a unique product because you put the glitter on and often glitter in most products will kind of go everywhere on your face after you've put it on these ones actually lock in place so once they dry down they're not moving from wherever you put them so that's really good because there is quite a lot of glitter in it and you don't really want that transferring everywhere on your face so I've been really impressed with these I'm sad that people don't like them but if you're somebody who likes glitter I would definitely look into these and I'm not somebody who even likes liquid highlighters like I find them fussy they're not great to use but I really, really enjoy these. And the last item that I'm gonna talk about are Inglot eyeshadows. Now, I don't feel like they're actually an underrated brand, but I feel like they kind of lack exposure because they don't really send out PR packages. They don't get a lot of press by people just because no one's getting them for free, so it's not as you know current in people's mind. But Inglot eyeshadows, are pretty much my favorite on the market. They make such beautiful colors, and I realize this is a rainbow palette that I've put together, but they do make neutral colors as well, so if you're looking for something a little bit more traditional, you can definitely find that in Inglot too. These ones are all like rainbow and matte, and these make me so happy because the colors are always beautiful to use. They're always pigmented, they're always easily blendable, and I'm just always happy whenever I use an Inglot eyeshadow, and I wish that more people were talking about them. I feel like maybe six years ago, people were more aware of Inglot and used more of their products. I don't feel like people are talking about them as much now, and that really makes me sad because I think they put out fantastic products. I believe I actually have a full swatch video of all my Inglot shadows, so I will link to that down below. Inglot for me pretty much makes good products no matter what. I love their foundation, I love their eyeliners, I love their glitters, their pigments. They make good products in general, 
you don't really find a dud in their collection, but for me, the standout is definitely their eyeshadows and I want more people to be exposed to them. So that's why I'm mentioning them here. I don't think they're underrated in the sense that I'm pretty sure everybody who tries them does think highly of them, but they're not very visible. They don't get a lot of press and I wanna make everyone more aware of Inglot eyeshadows. All right, that is it for the five underrated products that I really enjoy and I wish more people would use. Huge thank you to Stephanie Marie for putting out this video today so that I had something to film because I really like the topic. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll catch you next time. Bye.